Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. My brothers and sisters, yes, we speak about preparing for the day we are going to die. With this virus around and so many people losing their lives, obviously, we now know for certain, and we always knew, but it's reassured, it's reconfirmed that there doesn't need to be something majorly wrong with you for you to suddenly die. You know, before it would be an accident and so on. Now, the sudden death that was prophesized by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wherein he said closer to the hour and the end of times, people will die suddenly. You know, you hear of a person who's there and then he's not there. So, yes, with this virus around, it's become much more important for us to be ready at any time to pass away. But he uh, outlives the person himself. And thirdly, attributed in this way is very rewarding for as long as that river is flowing, you will continue to get a reward for everybody who benefited from it. And uh, inshallah, it's going to continue way beyond your date of death. The third thing, a person who sinks a well, so a borehole or a tube well or a well, for as long as that uh, is going to last, you'll get a reward. So when we say Sadaqa Jariya, this is all part of Sadaqa Jariya. One is knowledge. It's mentioned in the hadith of the three. Like I told you, these are just details. And then he speaks about the, the river. And now he is saying uh, the, the well. So if you have sunk a well for the people, and they benefit from it. It may stop after a year or two. Normally, nowadays, in many countries, a well is not something they're looking forward to. They're looking forward to a borehole, which costs much more, but it lasts far longer. A borehole may last for 20 years, 10 years, perhaps more, but a well is seasonal. And sometimes these wells dry up. I know I come from Zimbabwe. And back where I come from, sometimes a well dries up in, in a short time and a well can only benefit a small community, very small, a few houses, whereas a borehole can benefit a broader, uh, you know, number of people, a larger number of people, a broader cross section of the community. So uh, it's important for you to decide which one am I going to do? It don't always go for the cheaper thing. You know, we look at the charities and we say, okay, here's Abdullah Aid, I'm going to go for a well. Ask them, do you do boreholes? If you do bore, what's the cost? Ah, it's very expensive. Can you afford it? If you can, well, the more you're obviously going to have a longer reward for a longer time because it's going to last longer. If you're doing a well, alhamdulillah, are you going to follow up with that well? Are you going to make sure that it's carrying on? Because sometimes a year later, two years later, most wells dry up and a lot of wells are seasonal. When the water table comes up, there's water. When it doesn't, there's no water. So that is uh, one of the things mentioned. Uh, the fourth thing mentioned here is someone who plants a tree. Obviously, you'll get a reward for as long as someone's benefiting from that tree or the birds or anything else that's benefiting. If it's a fruit tree, then the fruit as well or the shade or both. Awbana masjidan, a person who builds a masjid for the sake of Allah. So that's like a big deal, mashallah. That is going to benefit you after you die in your grave, okay? Awwarratha mushafan, someone who bequeathed a mushaf. Mushaf means uh, that upon which the Quran is written. At the time of the Prophet, it used to be on skins and little parchments and perhaps. Uh, planks of wood and so on. So that's that was called mushaf. Nowadays, when we say mushaf, the mind goes straight to the, you know, the Quran. So if you're going to print Qurans and distribute them, it will help you. You know, and you can do the translation Quran. So you have the Arabic on one side and the, the English on the other side. And actually, it continues to uh, any books which explain the Quran as well, and uh, they have the Quran written in there. And the last one mentioned in this narration of Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an, or a person who leaves a child who's uh, going to make dua for them and seek forgiveness for them after they've died. So when your child seeks forgiveness for you after you have died, it's going to help you for a long, long time for as long as they continue. Now, that is the narration of Anas ibn Malik. I want to, uh, before I end, I want to mention another narration that I love which is very similar in meaning. May Allah strengthen us to choose what we want to do and we try and do all of these things. So Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrates in a hadith 
uh, that is also very, very interested, uh, very interesting, reported in Sunan Ibn Majah, also said to be uh, correct, meaning said to be a good hadith, because it's explaining the other one of the three. إِنَّ مِمَّا يَلْحَقُ الْمُؤْمِنْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِ وَحَسَنَاتِهِ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهِ Indeed, from among the things that would actually uh, benefit the deceased person uh, from amongst his deeds and, and you know, his uh, actions after his death. So what would benefit him after his death? إِلْمًا عَلَّمَهُ وَنَشَرَهُ Knowledge that he taught and he spread. So to, to beam the knowledge, be it on the internet, be it anywhere. Nashara, who means to spread the knowledge. You know something, you taught it. You taught it to people how? I taught it by, with books. I taught it by printing books and distributing them. I taught it with lectures. I taught it with online. I taught it by reminding people, by reposting what someone's posted for as long as it's permissible to do that and they don't mind and, and so much more. So any knowledge that you have taught others or you have spread, all of it is going to benefit you after your death a pious child that you leave behind the idea is that child is going to do good and you get a reward for every and they gave the charity that will definitely benefit you it's called sadaqa jariya you know that which is going to benefit you for a long long time to come because you gave money in a way for anything you gave money in a way say you gave money for somebody's education you gave somebody for you gave that's a charity you gave money for uh, somebody's anything you know for as long as that particular item is continuing, you will have a reward. The day it stops, the reward stops, but Allah will had already given you such a big reward. So we ask Allah to help us to achieve paradise. And this is these are just a few tips of how to prepare for the day that you're going to pass away and the day you're going to meet with Allah beyond what we've always heard. This is important because it will continue uh, well after you've passed on. May Allah grant us paradise. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.